So we found out this past week, Arizona Senator Kristen Sinema is now no longer a Democrat in name on paper. She's now a registered independent, but promises nothing probably will change. Newsmax senior White House correspondent John Gizzi penned an interesting op-ed on Newsmax.com. The headline, Beware of Independent Cinema. John Gizzi joins us now. John, this is an interesting oh. one because I happen to wholeheartedly agree with your assessment on this. Actually, Chris Ruddy sent it to me and I was like, wow, nailed it. What do you make of this? Well, very simply, she is an independent in name only, or so say Republican leaders in the Grand Canyon state. Put another way, they're not buying what many call a battlefield conversion. Mm -hmm. Democrats barely won the governorship and the Senate race in the Grand Canyon state this year, and Republicans gained two new U.S. House seats. Uh, for someone with a record like cinemas, which is 80% with the liberal Americans for democratic action and 14% for the American conservative union, that spells vulnerability mm -hmm. at this point. So she's choosing about the only option that's available, and that's the third way should she choose to seek reelection. Meantime, she keeps her democratic committee assignments, she ca uh, caucuses with Democrats, and nothing changes except the I after her name. Well, that's the interesting thing, too, is that you, you pointed out, rightfully so, that there's a possibility that she was facing such a heavy uh, potential from a Democratic primary because she ran far, super far left, and has kind of been, I don't want to say a vote of reason, but at least a voice of reason. She's held things up long enough to create more consideration. And this, if she runs as an independent now, they can't put a Democrat up against her because she'll split the vote and guarantee a Republican seat, right? Well, not exactly. Liz Schuler, the president of the AFL-CIO, is furious with Senator Sinema because she has been consistent about not wanting to scrap the filibuster in the Senate. And that's a cherished goal of organized labor. Uh, at a press breakfast last year, um, President Schuler may, would not rule out supporting a primary challenge to cinema over this issue mm -hmm. alone. So she's being hit by all sides. In any event, the likelihood is if she makes another trip to the polls, it will be on a third party line. And that will split the Democratic vote in Arizona. Yeah, that would be very, very interesting. John Gizzi, we appreciate you joining us, sir.